Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to talk to you about creating relationships between tables. So in this database, I have three tables, consultants, if I open that one, it's just a list of consultants. And you can see there you've got a consultant ID field. And if I go into design, that is the primary key for that table. Close that one down. Then I've got a table of projects. And in this, you've got a consultant's ID and a project ID field. And if I go into design on that one, the project ID is the primary key. And the last table is a sponsor table. And you've got sponsor ID there. And if I go into design on that one, the sponsor ID field is the primary key. So each table has a primary key. Now, if I go to the database tools window, you have this option here underneath relationships. So if I click on that one, I can then bring the tables, add tables either from there, but you can actually just drag and drop the tables. So if I do consultants and projects first, if I just make these a little bit bigger so you can see all the fields, To do a link, you can see I've got the primary key in this table and I've got the same field in this table, but it's not a primary key. So what I'm going to do is just drag from consultants ID to consultants ID. When I let go, I get this box popping up, which is coming up with table query and related table query. So basically consultant ID, consultant ID. And you've got this saying one to many, so one to many relationship, which is what I do want. So it's going to be this one consultant can be on many projects. That's what that means. One consultant can be on many projects. Now, if I tick this box, enforce referential integrity, what that means is I cannot create a consultant ID in this table if it does not exist already in the consultants table. So that's quite important. You've got these options of cascade update related fields and deleted fields. It depends on the type of database table that you've got, whether you want to tick these, which would mean if I deleted a consultant and I've got that ticked, it would delete all consultant records in this project table. And you might not want that to happen. So you just have to be careful with that one. But if I click on create, I will get the one to infinity symbol and you can see it there. Now, if I double click back on the line, this box pops back up and the other thing you've got there is join type where you've got these different joins so this is going to show only rows where both fields are equal in the table so only consultants that are actually doing projects this one is going to show all the consultants but only the fields were in the project table that have a consultant allocated and this number three is going to do it the other way around all the projects but only the consultants where join fields are equal. So that's the three types of joins you can have. I'm going to leave this on one for this, this first um, little bit. I'll click OK to that and OK. Now I've set the relationship. I'll close this window. Yes, I do want to save that. Now that relationship that I've created will cascade through all of this database. So whatever I do now, the computer will remember that I've got that relationship. So if I create a query, for example, so if I create a query, query design, and I add those two tables, straight away, the link is there. And you can see the information there. So what I can now do is, let's go for first name, surname from this table, and project and location from that table. So you can see there, it's telling you the table it's coming from. If I run that query, I get this information like so and then you can see I've got three con uh, three projects that this consultant's doing me and you can see each, each of the other ones so that's that's a joint type one now if I go back into it and double click on the line I can go join type two so this is going to show me all the consultants but the project only the consultants um, on the project table that are allocated so there, there could be a spare project here click OK to that you see the arrow going that way if I run that query so then it's showing me these two consultants that aren't actually on a project so that's a useful query to, to know about now if I do it the other way around it's going to show me all the projects OK to that one the arrow goes the other way 
if I run that query, any project, this top one hasn't got anybody on it. So logic would dictate that you pick one of those two spare consultants and allocate them to this project. That's how that would work. And you'd set those two queries up and save them for a later use. So I'm just going to double click back on this and put it back to one. OK. And then I'm going to save this query as QRY um, project consultants. Okay, now if I close this down, what I can do there is create a, a report on that, and I'm going to create a report wizard, I would use a wizard, so it's got that there, knock it over, next, so it's, it's grouping by um, first name, surname, so that'll say Stephen Saxton and list the three projects that I'm on, um, do you want to add any more groupings to that, not really, I'm okay with that, next, and leave it ascending, ascending, next, landscape, next, give it a name, so this is going to be RPT consultant projects, or projects, we'll put projects afterwards, just so we don't have to faff about with that, finish, and then that should set that up nice and easy, so you can see there, look, I've got three projects, my three projects are listed there. And this is slightly truncated, so I'd have to go into design on this. So if I close this, and you're basically playing around with these fields here. The project location probably needs to come across a little bit. It goes onto two pages. So be it. But that's a title, so that's the actual field, because some of these projects are quite long-winded. Let's have a look at that one. Just about made it there still got it on one page so that's my report so if I close that one down yes I do I'll save it so that was um, creating a link between the uh, consultants and project but what about the sponsor so now I'm going back to database tools relationship window I'm going to bring the sponsor table on so I've got sponsor ID and in this project table I've got sponsor ID as well so one sponsor can sponsor many projects that's what this is all about again i get this enforced enforced referential integrity and it's one to many which is what i want so i click create and i get the one to many symbol there now if you do a join or you try and join fields that aren't compatible you will get an error message coming up so if i see if i can not an error message but you'll get a different thing coming up see if i can make this go wrong so if i that's a date field if i put that to city which is a text field, it's coming up with indeterminate. It doesn't understand that relationship and it's not, you can't carry on there. It'll let you create it, but you just get that line. That is, that would be an alarm bell for me if I saw a line like that without the uh, one to affinity sign. I'm going to delete that. It might still work, but that definitely wouldn't work. A date field to a city field, a, a date field to a text field, that definitely wouldn't work. But if it comes up with indeterminate, you should be looking at the links. If you get a, if you do a link like this, so I'm going to sponsor ID and you tick that and it says it can't do it. That will be because there's already records in um, this table, sponsor IDs in this table that don't exist in there. So then it will just be a straight line without the infinity symbol on it. It still lets you do it, but you should really stop there and check this project table making sure that there are no sponsor numbers, IDs in there that don't exist in there, because that's not good practice. So I'll do that um, again. That's what I want, and that's what you should be looking for. And I'll save this again, this save, close this window down. Now I can create a query, another query, create query, query design. I can now add all three tables. So the project is like, project table is like the joining table. So I can pull information off from all three tables. If I just open these up a bit so you can see everything. Like that. So now I want first name, surname from that. I want project and location from that one. And I want sponsor name from that one. So if I run this query, let's see if that works. Yes, it does. So I've got sponsor name. And I'll close, I'll save this query. So I'll call this 
query sponsor just for ease and then close that and then create a report on that one so I've got it higher I've got it highlighted so create I'll do the wizard again so taking everything across next so now I want this sponsor name and then I might do another group in there if I come down yes I do want to group by surname no I'll leave it as sponsor I want it as sponsor actually it's just looking at it like that if I go project what's that gonna do no I don't want project so if I go surname so that's gonna say Saxton so sponsor Saxton and you can have your first name underneath it you can always edit that later on let's have a look at this one go next have it landscaped next so I'll call it RPT sponsor and then finish that off so what's that looking like so that's standard ODI UCAS so you've got the names there okay surname John Saxton Stephen Stephen so really what I would I don't really want the um, I shouldn't have brought the first name across or maybe I should concatenate the first name and surname so it comes across as one field and then that would look better um, just close that down close that so what that means if I go into design on this one and what I'm talking about there is concatenating that so if I click into a field here just do shift F2 which will zoom that up so I can go equals and then call it um, name doesn't like names colon and then I want um, first name the space there which is not good practice it's first first name space with that a little land sign and then surname like ding, like that a little square bracket see what that looks like don't need the equals in there let's have a run of that yeah so that's okay so now if I I don't need these now so I can get rid of these two and I can move this concatenated field to the front let's have a look at that so I've got it concatenated so it's uh, Tom Jones close that down save that create a different um, report so create report wizard so I can bring everything across again I want it um, sponsor name and then names like that go next next landscape next so this is already called RPT sponsor so I'll just put a number one after it and then finish so what does this look like? Dander, John Reeves, Tim Saxton, that's better. So that looks better. And again, I'd have to go back into design of this and sort that field out so it's not truncated, which it is at the moment. So I could just move them across a little bit. Close that. And that's my report. So that's just a very short video of how you can create relationships and then base queries on those relationships and then base reports on those queries. I've had a quick look at the concatenation just to tidy something up. So hopefully this little video has been okay for you. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.